Seventh grade open up resources, illustrative mathematics, unit four, lesson seven, 100%. Problem number one. A bakery used 25% more butter this month than last month. If the bakery used 240 kilograms of butter last month, how much did it use this month? 25% is equivalent to 25 hundredths, so we can multiply 25 hundredths times 240. 25% 25 of 240 is 60. So if they used 60 kilograms more butter this month, we need to add 60 kilograms to 240 kilograms. And that equals 300 kilograms. This month, they used 300 kilograms of butter. Problem number two. Last week, the price of oranges at the farmer's market was $1.75 per pound. This week, the price has decreased by 20%. What is the price of oranges this week? 20% of $1.75 equals 20 hundredths times 1.75. 20% of $1.75 is 35 cents. So we need to subtract 35 cents from $1.75. This week, the price of the oranges is $1.40 per pound. Problem number three. Noah thinks the answers to these two questions will be the same. Do you agree with him? Explain your reasoning. Let's look at the first question. This year, a herd of bison had a 10% increase in population. If there were 550 bison in the herd last year, how many are in the herd this year? 10% of 550 is 55. So we'd have to add 55 to 550 there'd be 605 bison this year. Now let's take a look at the second question. This year, another herd of bison had a 10% decrease in population. If there are 550 bison in the herd this year, how many bison were there last year? This information tells me that there are 550 bison this year. Oh, we figured out that with the other question, there are 605 bison this year. That means that the two answers are going to be different. No, I don't agree with Noah. Problem number four from 7th grade, Unit 4, Lesson 5. Elena walked 12 miles. Then she walked a quarter of that distance. How far did she walk altogether? Select all that apply. I know that a quarter of 12 is 3, or 12 divided by 4 equals 3. I can also multiply 0 0.25 times 12, and that also gives me 3. Since Elena walked 12 miles, then she walked a quarter of that distance. That's 12 miles plus 3 miles, which is 15 miles. I can select any of the expressions that equal 15. I can select A because 12 plus a quarter of 12 is the same as 12 plus 3, or 15. I can also select B, because 12 times 1 is 12, plus 12 times a quarter of 12 is 3, and 12 plus 3 equals 15. I can also select C, because 12 times 1 and a quarter equals 15. I'm not going to select D, because 12 times a quarter gives me 3. That's the same thing as a fourth of 12, and a fourth of 12 is 3, not 15. I'm also not going to select E, because 12 plus a quarter is simply 12 and a quarter, or 12.25, not 15. Problem number five from seventh grade, unit three, lesson eight. A circle's circumference is 600 meters. What is a good approximation of the circle's area? Remember, the circumference is the diameter times pi. This means that the diameter times pi is going to equal 600 meters. We can divide both sides by pi, d times pi divided by pi equals d, and 600 divided by pi is approximately 191.08. That means that the radius is half of that, about 95.54 meters. This will help me get a good approximation of the circle's area because the area of a circle is the radius squared times pi. 
95.54 squared times pi. The area of this circle is approximately 9,127.89 meters times pi, or 28,662 meters squared. I would select C, 30,000 meters squared. Problem number six from seventh grade unit two, lesson six. The equation D equals three T represents the relationship between the distance D in inches that a snail is from a certain rock and the time t in minutes. A. What does the number 3 represent? The speed of the snail is 3 inches per minute. That's the constant of proportionality. B. How many minutes does it take the snail to get 9 inches from the rock? 3 inches times 3 is 9 and 1 minute times 3 is 3 minutes. It should take the snail three minutes to get nine inches from the rock. C. How far will the snail be from the rock after nine minutes? One minute times nine equals nine minutes, and three inches times nine equals 27 inches. The snail will be 27 inches away from the rock in nine minutes. Don't forget to support my YouTube channel by liking this video, leaving a comment below, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.